All right, welcome back from that quick break. Let's just get to it almost immediately. But before we do that, let's bring to the fold our guest for today, Mr. Akin Fatske. Very good morning to you, sir. Yes, sir. Let's say good morning, David. Uh, good I'd like morning. to say good, good morning, um, Philian. I joined you uh, in commiserating with all of us, especially with families of um, those that have died, mm. those that are dying as we speak. Right. And unfortunately, those that will also die in future. You have a, a beautiful black. Is that? Uh, yeah, it actually is part of what's letter where it had to be on black and black, you know, to actually make people not like. You know, it's it's sad when you you know that a mother had to die along with her four kids. It is worse. Mm. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's heartbreaking. You know, Philian, something similar to this happened. Uh, Nigerians will not forget. Yeah. You remember the socialist crash? Oh yeah. In Portaco. Mm. When a mother watched three of three her kids, kids coming from the Jesus College in, yeah. in Abuja, very unavoidable, she watched them roasted and, you know, cries upon cries. It's painful. She, she had to live through it. Mm. And each night there was a harrowing. So, so thank you very much. Thanks to VOP uh, for bringing this for a conversation. David. Sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. All right, let's get to it almost immediately. Um, we'll be looking at the front pages right now. We we'll start off with the Vanguard newspaper. Now, the banner headline here in the front page of the uh, Vanguard newspaper reads, Consumer spending down as Nigerians remain gloomy on economy. The writer, weak spending triggers decline in e-payment transactions. Value of e-payment falls 5.7% to 92.8 trillion naira. Firms reduce output expansion due to low consumer spending. Other headlines there, Samoa Agreement, Ombudsman begins probe of FG's complaint against Daily Trust. NBA gives IG seven days to stop E CMR certificate issuance. UK court dismisses P and ID appeal upholds 43 billion pound award in favor of Nigeria. Trump assassination attempt. Tinubu world leaders call shooting distasteful. And then there is an editorial by Owe Lakemfa. You can read that up also on uh, page 16 of the Vanguard newspaper. And then in sports, Spain heap 2-1 pain on England. Well, uh, that's about uh, the finals of the Euros that ended yesterday. And yes, that's it on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Mr. Hakim, which would you want to... Very quickly, uh, the consumer spending is low and... That is low uh, for the economy. But I begin to wonder as an economist, uh, again, when you put all the numbers together, you know, when you measure your GDP, uh, mm. so to speak, you talk about consumer spending, you talk about industrial spending, you talk right. about government spending, then you talk about exportless imports, a net of taxes. And because our inflation still keeps on galloping, Mm. You begin to wonder. So from where I am without necessarily going deep, it looks like the government spending. We have a lot that is being spent at the governmental level, both federal and, and local. I do hope that um, the introduction of the credit scheme mm. will help in this process. But um, I dare say it's not looking like a bed of roses uh, for the economy yet mm. i must I, I must say and then you know uh, david you are hungry i'm hungry i know fina is um, hungry in fact we represent the metaphor to the wider circle of people that we have out there i really pray that um, both the physical and the monetary will continue to have the appropriate keys and the good example that we expect from government at all levels to come to bear so that they can jumpstart our economy once again. Mm. It's interesting you did mention that um, uh, the, the, the 
rising cost of living in Nigeria is part of this. I, I saw one of the writers here, weak spending triggers decline in e-payments transaction. Does it indicate in any way that the cashless policy seems to not be gaining momentum? Well, it will naturally not gain momentum when there is weak spending. You don't have got anything to spend, whether it's physical cash, mm. you're going to be doing your e-wallet. E yes. <laughs> you are out of out of job, you don't have employment, and you don't have any other um, pseudo or hidden employment to help you. You don't have children to help you. You don't have grown up. You don't even have children at all. And by the time you begin to think of your education, livelihood, what else do you <laughs> expect? Mm. My thinking is that the credit scheme that uh, they wish to introduce, which I think will, in my, my honest opinion, solve quite a number of questions. What does that mean? Right. It means FINA, um, without necessarily getting a salary increase, mm. to get some credit, mm. to go buy uh, whatever it is that she wishes to buy in credit, injects movement into the economy, she's happy, and then, you know, um, she'll be debited, <laughs> you know, affordably over mm. time. And then that can that can engender. But you know, oh. David, the usual thing, uh, the graveyard of any strategy, as I found in Nigeria, is implementation. I think and I pray that this be implemented to the letter. The time to start was yesterday. All right. Then. The next time is today. I'm not sure it's starting today. Okay. Just by tomorrow, wait, wait. let's begin to we'll wait. We'll wait to see all of that and how it would pan out. But let's get to the conversation proper. And uh, this morning, we'll be looking at the statement credited to the Senate chief whip. I'm talking about Senator Ali Ndume, who accuses President Bola Tinubu of being run by kakistocrats and kleptocrats. Whatever th that means, you will find out as we take this very little break when we return. Thank <laughs> you. 